And staying with Japan's latest attempts at historical revisionism, and this example stretches back centuries to ancient times. Tokyo is strengthening widely rejected historical claims that it ruled over Korean territory more than 1,500 years ago. Son Jong-in has more. This is a website for the Agency for Cultural Affairs under Japan's Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology. The website introduces Japan's cultural heritage, including a gold crown, a sword decorated with dragon designs, and a wing-shaped crown ornament. They all date back centuries and were excavated from Changnyeonggun County in Korea's southeastern Gyeongsangnam-do province during the Three Kingdoms period. The assets, however, are recorded under the excavation site of Mimana, or Imna in Korean. The name comes from the theory of Imna by Japanese scholars. They claim Japan established a military outpost in southern part of the Korean peninsula and ruled over the territory known then as the Confederacy of Kaya from the end of 4th to the 6th century. The theory is rejected by the vast majority of Japanese historians due to the lack of evidence, but the claim is stated in most of the middle school history textbooks that were recently approved by Japanese government as a widely accepted theory. In another similar move, some books by right-wing publishers even include unfounded claims that the Japanese Yamato Imperial Court controlled the ancient Korean kingdoms of Baekje and Silla in the late 4th century, which enabled the ironware culture of Korea to flourish. From modern to ancient history, Japan's distortion of the past has become more conspicuous and persistent, dealing another blow to already frayed relations between Seoul and Tokyo at a time when there are mounting calls for better cultural and economic ties. Sun Jong-in, Arirang News.